we're here with opening day, well, I guess, uh, game one of the year. Uh, this episode, uh, we take on the former team that we, I was, uh, the Washington Wizards. You can see the changes. They added Terry Rozier. They also added Gordon Hayward. Not trying to completely rebuild yet, but trying to make that little playoff push without spending a lot of money. So this is game one of the year as we will jump right into it. San Antonio Spurs head on to Washington, D.C. in the Capital One Arena. You will see the starting lineups here in just a moment. You saw our starting lineup to end last episode, and it was, I think it was uh, Trey Jones, Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, and Zach Collins. You can see Monte Morris, Bradley Beal, Gordon Hayward, Porzingis, and Gafford for the Wizards. Gafford meets with Collins in the middle, and the win or the tip will be won by Washington as we will get the game underway. Starting off early though, it is the Spurs here after a missed shot from them uh, for the Wizards. We got Keldon Johnson doing a little nice little fading deep mid range here on Porzingis. He'd hit it for the first point of the year. We now go for nothing. It's Trey Jones. Looking for Zach Collins. Collins gets it, gives it back to Jones. And Jones will drive by Monte Morris for the easy layup. He starts off with four early points in this game. Wizards still not on the board here as Vassell drives to the left. Kicks it back to the right. Gets a wide open moving midi. He'll hit it as he gets his first bucket of the year. And it is 8 nothing early on. Washington would finally get on the board here with a Monte Morris. Nice little layup over Trey Jones. That is 8-2. We then jump ahead a little bit more. Vassell kicks it out to Jeremy Sohan, who's feeling it, and he hits the three. He's not known for his three-point shot, but it's nice to know that he's trying to develop it, and he hits that three there. Beal off with the shot. He's cold to start the game. It was a rough start for Bradley Beal. And on the other end, Trey Jones. Lining it up, he finds Jeremy Sohan in the paint, wide open, and Sohan gets five early points here. We now jump ahead, 13-2. Now it's Keldon Johnson getting Gordon Hayward in the air. Kicks it out to Vassell, and we are firing at all cylinders here. It is 16-2. A great start to the game here. Porzingis backs down Jeremy Sohan, who gets a block, but then Porzingis gets the ball back and puts it right back up for an easy two-point dunk there after the block shot. On the other end, Trey Jones bringing it up here, setting up another play, and he just drives by and lays it up over uh, Monte Morris and Bradley Beal. Trey Jones starting off the game nice. Bradley, Bradley Beal would finally get uncold here with a nice little midi from the free throw line. That was his first point of the game. Now it's 6, 18 to eight. Trey Jones fires to the corner for Devin Vassell, who would hit the corner three, and a timeout would be called by Wes Unsell Jr as it's 21-8 San Antonio. We now go on with some of the backups. Isaac now has the ball, and he kicks it to the rookie, Brandon Miller, looking to be the new face. His first career shot, he gets a nice little Euro step and lays it in as he gets his first career points. Next possession here, it's DeLon Wright off the mark. Rebound Ben Simmons, the big trade acquisition here. As he drives in on the other side, he looks Brandon Miller. As Miller will go to the post on, I believe that's DeLon Wright. And he lays it up, and now he has four points. Don't know if Ben Simmons got the assist there. I think he did. You can see Washington was on a little scoring drought, but Porzingis pulls up over Brandon Miller to end that real quick. As they now have 11 as a team, but they're still down 14. Hit by Pat Bev, stolen by Simmons. Simmons running the break, kicks it out. Brandon Miller, pull up transition three. He's got it. He's off to seven early points for the rookie. Simmons is doing pretty nice to start the game as well. And that was basically it for the first. Pat Bev tries to hit, I believe that is Wesley in the corner for a buzzer beater three, but it comes off. 28 to 11, a 17 point lead here for the San Antonio Spurs in their first game of year two. We now jump to the second here. It starts off with Rozier, the newly acquired Terry Rozier. And he gets the easy layup. On the other end, Pat Bev drives right by Monte Morris and hits a layup. Didn't expect Patrick Beverly to play for us this year. But, I mean, he's got the layup, so can't complain there. It's a 15-point game here. Gordon Hayward gets his first bucket as a wizard. He and Rozier both got traded here during the offseason for the, I believe it was the fourth pick. 
which ended up being Cameron Whitmore. Uh, wide open three for Keldon Johnson. It was a pretty deep three, but the Wizards, for some reason, decided to run a zone. I don't know why, but the Spurs, they were on fire anyway, and they weren't really guarding the three well enough. There's Vassell hitting that corner three. On the other end, Vassell finds Brandon Miller, and he hits the corner three. He got double digits in his first game here. Um, later on, 39-21, Miller finds Collins. Collins to Vassell, who hits the tray from about the wing area. This game pretty much is summed up by this here, like, Jeremy Sohan, he was feeling hot and he hits the three. 45 to 21. Uh, on the other end, though, Gafford and Hayward. Hayward would hit the corner three. Hayward's trying to get them some momentum back as the next possession they have. It gets kicked over to Hayward again and he hits another corner three there. But the Spurs were just doing too well here. Brandon Miller, corner three would not fall. Zach Collins would tip it in. And at this point, it's a 20-point game. I sim cast. Um, I maybe if the game got close, I'd hop back in, um, but it really didn't. So the only reason why I hopped in towards the end was just to get some more gameplay with some of the backups. You see Ben Simmons here. He works his way into the paint, goes to the hook shot, and gets his first career point as a Spur. He didn't really do too much in today's game, but he started off all right. And the Spurs would take game one of the year here. 106-96, they beat a Washington Wizard team, which, in my opinion, I think we're a better team on paper, and we've definitely played like a better team today. Um, if it was a playoff series, do I think uh, we'd win? Probably not. Uh, Bradley Beal, Porzingis, they were nice. Uh, you can see Porzingis dropped 23-9, and nine. Gafford 16-11. and 11. Uh, Hayward actually shot 6-9 for nine for 15 points. He was doing all right. Uh, Beal just couldn't get it going until it was too late. Rogier did all right off the bench. Uh, and then you'll see our team stats here. Our leading scorer today was Devin Vassell with 32 on opening night. And then Brandon Miller had 23. So coming off a strong summer league campaign, he ends up being our second leading scorer on opening night. See Trey Jones and Johnson both got 11. See Jonathan Isaac, he ended up getting three steals. He didn't really do too much on the offensive end. Same with Ben Simmons. He was more on the defense and passing in. Uh, you can see here the team comparison. And now I go to simulation. Now uh, we simulate the next two games against the uh, Mavericks and the Bucks, And we win both of them. So Brandon Miller. Yeah, he led our team in scoring in the second game. He scored 27. Collins had 22 and 6. Keldon Johnson had 18. Ben Simmons had a 16-point game in his second game. This is a pretty nice game. And Brandon Miller trying to show that he is the new star that we wanted the draft here you see on the other end Luca had 27 there's just not a lot going on even though they traded for Caldwell Pope traded for Jovic but Jovic is 2 for 11 and 0 for 5 for 3 um, and then game 3 we took on the Bucks who are Giannis and Drew Holiday good good but the rest of the team didn't really do much for the Bucks and Brandon Miller again had a 20 point game all three games this year he started or he started off with 20 points in each of the three you can see the rest of the team there how they did, and now we do some sim casting here against the Denver Nuggets. Jokic, Butler, I don't, Jamal Murray, that's about the three I remember. Um, you can just see we kept it close, but then they just kind of took away in the third and fourth quarter there, uh, and we ended up getting blown up by like 20 or maybe 10. We might have brought it to 10, but I think it was 20. Yeah, it was a 20-point win for the Nuggets. You see the stats here, though. Keldon Johnson had 27. Brandon Miller only had 9 in this game. Nobody else besides Keldon Johnson really scored, and that was the issue we had here. Where on the other end, you can see, uh, I think it was Jokic, Murray, and Butler. Uh, I'm pretty sure the leading scorer was Murray. Yeah, the leading scorer was Murray with 30. Najee had 18. Gordon had 17. Butler had a double-double. Jokic had a double-double. And Ball had a double-double, the rookie. He's uh, getting 29 minutes a game there. Bryce Ball, the 6'6 shooting guard with a nice double-double there. Jokic didn't even score that much. He shot 3 for 15, but he just, the rest of the team picked up his slack there. Uh, and then we go to the next game here, where we are simulating. And we just got blown out the entire time. There's not really much. We tried to make it a game towards the end, but it was too little too late. 
Um, we lost by, I believe it was six. Yep, we lost by six here. Um, but we were just getting bullied from the start. Butler had 20 and 10. Jokic 16 and 17, as well as seven assists. Uh, you can see on our end, Vassell and Johnson were our leading scorers. Sohan's been starting off the year hot, but the three-point percentage is what I'm worried about with him, and it's over five in this game. Uh, you can see some other guys here. We then jump over. I don't know if I play the or if I simcast the Trailblazers game in this, so we will find out together. It looks like I do simcast it. Then we take on the Portland Trailblazers, who are trying to make a final effort to give Damian Lillard a title. Um, but early on here, you can see we just kind of took control of the game, and we didn't really let it up. We almost did towards the end, but we did not, as we just kept, I believe, potentially fouls. But then we only won by one. I'm not sure what happened towards the end. Shaden Sharp had 26. Lillard had 22. You can see Bogdanovich, the big acquisition they had to try to keep him there. He had a good amount of points. And then you can see our team here. Johnson was our leading scorer with, I believe, that is five or six double-digit scorers there. Uh, as well as Trey Jones has been kind of disappointing to start the year. Um, then I simulated up through the... Um, here's a trade I vetoed because I didn't really think it made sense for the Rockets. But we simulated through the Clippers game and now we are simcasting the Lakers game. And then the next episode will start with some gameplay episode of the Lakers game, which is the following game. We play Lakers twice in the next three days, as you can see. Against the Clippers, we won. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard had some decent games. Austin Reeves scored 13. Zubak had a nice game, but that's about all. Or Brandon Miller, he got a new career high of 30 that game. Sohan and Johnson were the next two leading scorers. And then the next game where we faced LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook's back. Um, you can see they won by 23. But Brandon Miller having 28 points on good efficiency this game here. He's potentially going to be our new star. Looking at the stats, he is our team's leading scorer right now through the first however many games we've played. Uh, you can see the rest of the team stats as this video ends up here through this game. Like I said, next episode will start off with a gameplay, or I don't know how much gameplay, but a little bit of gameplay, and then some more simulating, because that's how I'm going to try to do it now. I played too many games in the Wizards franchise, and then again, we won too many. Uh, so I'm hoping, one, that we don't win as many games as we did in the Wizards, and two, the Simcast kind of evens it out. But that is all. Guys, thank you all for watching this episode of the San Antonio Spurs rebuild franchise thing. Uh, hoping next episode we get some nice, uh, a nice win. Because I'm going to be honest, I already played it, but I don't remember what happened. Uh, but you can see the stats. Uh, my mind is kind of going out. Here's Colby Jones' stats, by the way. I did show him. Because he's a rookie we drafted, but in the G League. But guys, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later. I'm out. Peace.